What, Stuart? What? Oh, oh, you wonder what, what I was doing? Well, I mean, you're wearing the perfect outfit for this lesson because we're going to be learning all about art and colors and lines. It's going to be so cool. We're going to learn about this really great artist. He has a special name. Now, most people say it one way, but we're going to learn the right way to say it. Are you ready to learn about this? It's going to be cool. Okay, Stuart, you got to go sit down over here so I can paint. Let's see. Oh, I was working on my sunflowers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I've been working on my sunflower vase. I was thinking I might give it to somebody for a special gift. Maybe there's a special day coming up that, or you could just be thankful for your, your someone in your life or your family and give it to them. But you can see that you can use different size brushes to make smaller things or bigger things and we're going to learn all about an artist named Vincent. Vincent's easy. Everybody in the United States says Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh. But guess what? Vincent Van Gogh's name is actually pronounced different from that so you get to learn something special today this is vincent van gogh he doesn't look very happy right there right well let me show you where he lives and we'll learn to pronounce his name right so he we live in the united states of america right here we're in california maybe you're in another state in the united states and if we go east across the united states and east across the atlantic ocean over here in the continent of Europe, there's a tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny country, tiny, so tiny, called Holland. It's part of the Netherlands. And he was from that country. How do you like my awesome, uh, I have on my art beret so we can paint together. I have on my art glasses, but I probably need my regular glasses so I can see what I'm reading to you, right? Oh, that's better, now I can read to you. So. We have so much to learn about him. His sunflowers were so popular. We're gonna learn all about color and art. It's gonna be great. So, in Holland, you pronounce his name, Vincent Van, it, the G doesn't even say G, it says Ha, Ha. Vincent Van Ha is the right way to say it. Isn't that odd? But that's how they speak. You know, in other countries, they speak lots of different languages. So, posible hablan español. In another country, they speak Spanish. In another country, they speak German or whatever. So, in, in Holland, his name is pronounced Van Ha, not with the hard G. So, open your eyes wide. It says because his colors are dazzling. They feel brighter than real life. The brush strokes bend, whirl, and zigzag through this movement and color. He tried to show others what he felt in his paintings. Ooh, all right, let's see what his style is. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready, no peeking. What do you think it'll be? Will it be dark or bright? Will it be swirly or straight? Lines, lines, everywhere there's lines. Remember in art, we learned about lines. All kinds of, you could have a straight vertical line, straight horizontal line, you could have a slant line, you could have curvy lines. What kind of lines do you think we'll see in his art? Done with that. Here we go. Get ready. Boom. Oh my gosh. Look at those swirly lines. Oh, isn't that amazing? This is one of his most famous paintings called Starry Night. Wow. It says the mountains roll like waves. The rows of trees seem coiled together. Look at the mountains roll be a mountain and roll like the waves. You can do it. The rows of trees, be a tree and squish together with the other trees. The roofs are jagged. Ooh, that means he used slant lines and straight lines to make the roofs of the village. He used deep bright colors and whirling brush strokes to bring his subjects to life. They're so filled with energy and you almost seem alive. He was looking out a window and he saw this village and the beautiful starry night. 
and he decided to make all those thick brush strokes. We're going to learn more about that in another book. Ooh, he even made this beautiful cypress tree. Can you be the tree and the swirly lines going up? There's movement in the... When you observe a tree, what do you see? Does it look like a dark patch? What does Van Gogh... Oh, I said it wrong. Van Gogh. It's hard to say. You can say Van Gogh. It's all right. Can you feel the shimmering colors that surround it? Do you think the wind is blowing? Oh, whoosh. Be the wind blowing. Oh, get up and move. In this painting, even the moon, surrounded by a halo of fog, turns and moves throughout the deep sky while the stars shine and the clouds whirl. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. All right, get ready. We got a new one. Do you think it'll be dark or light? Will it be swirly or straight? What do you think it'll look like? Get ready. No peeking. Boom. Now, if you thought of something to paint, would you think, I'm going to paint my bedroom? That's kind of different. You wouldn't expect a painter to think, I, I can see he loved painting sunflowers and swirly lines, but a bedroom? If you opened a door and saw this room, an old bed, a wooden chair, would you want to paint it? That's what the book says. <laughs> to Van Gogh's eye, even the simplest object seems filled with light. Let me practice. Van Ha. His eyes are still tired, but, oh, my eyes are still tired, but I have a new idea in my head. That's what he said. Look at all the different things. What do you see in the painting? What do you notice? Notice the colors that he chose too. We're gonna learn about colors. This page is about color, here we go. So, remember on the color wheel, color wheel is very interesting and important. You have the three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And then you have the three secondary colors, orange, green, and purple that are made from the primary colors. So he liked to use complementary colors. That's a new one we haven't learned yet. Complementary colors. They're across from each other on the color wheel. That's why red and red and green are across and they look so great at Christmas time. Yellow and purple go together. Like some uniforms and teams use yellow and purple because those colors are complementary and they go together well. And blue and orange are complementary colors. They're across from each other on the color wheel. That makes them beautiful when they're used together. Remember when I taught you about refraction in my other video and you could learn that all color comes from light and the white light is bent and splits into the colors of the rainbow. That's pretty cool. Thank you, color. Wow, life would be really different if we didn't have lots of bright, beautiful colors to work with, right? So, let's see what else Mr. Van Huck did. Ooh, he used thick brush strokes. <gasps> Look at that, wow. Look at this lady walking on the muddy ground and he sh used the thick lines. He didn't color it all the way in or paint it all the way in. He used a lot of different separate lines. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, no peeking, no peeking. Three, two, one, what do you think it'll be? Go, boom, self-portrait. This is him. <gasps> he painted a picture of himself, but noticed how he used those lines again. And look closely here. Would you think of putting green above your eyes? Well, he wanted the colors to really jump out at you. So he used dark colors here and there to make the bright colors pop. And he used different tools. He used thick brushes and thin brushes and even a painting knife that's hard that makes you put it on thick called impasto when you put it on the paint on really thick. Wow, does it remind you? Oh, look at this, how they lined that up and showed you how it's supposed to be bright from the middle. Radiating strokes. Okay, let's see what else we have for you here. Lines, lines, everywhere there's lines. What kind of paintings do you think like the best from him? How about three, two, one, no peeking, go. Ooh, what do you think of that one? Oh, I want to be in a boat and going somewhere. Where do you think they're going? Oh, come with me. I 
and you'll be and we can go together down the river now his look at his thick lines again and his bright colors okay let's see what else we have for you now there are so many things i thought you'd like to see a picture of when he was young here's he was a baby with his mom right there and he was born a long time ago look does that picture look new or old-fashioned long ago he was born hundreds of years ago and there's his sunflowers again they are so popular they're on everything all of my books sunflowers he loved that but guess what that's not all he did get ready for this one boom dark sad dark colors because he felt sorry for the poor people who had to work so hard to get the potatoes from the field and he wanted to represent them and paint them so that's pretty cool and in this awesome calendar you get to see oh there's the bedroom again oh look at this one i like this one that's a field and there's crows flying and you might think i don't know how to paint but look that's just a whole bunch of lines even the crows are lines let's see what else oh there's another self-portrait he did a lot of those and the field oh i love this one i got to go to the museum and see the real paintings and here's the field isn't that cool oh look how he used the bright yellow of the big house i mean there are so many things with his paintings look here's some note cards i got you can write a note to someone dear friend you are amazing here's a note card with his painting on it and you write inside Thank you for being my friend. You are so nice to me. I like that. What else is on the, those? Oh, here's a place where he used to eat, a cafe. Look at the different lines and colors you can see there. Oh, this is different. Look at the swirly clouds. Vincent Van Hock. All right, let's see what else we have. In this one, oh, Starry Night, so famous. They put it on that and said, how do the things in the painting go together? Unity. And in this one, they talk about thickness and texture. Texture is when you put the paint on thick and it, and it looks rough and you feel like you could touch it. So here we go with sunflowers. Did you know that the sunflower was his favorite flower. What's your favorite flower? See if you can find a flower that you really like. That sunflowers expressed gratitude. Oh, gratitude means thankfulness. What are you thankful for? What flower, oh, we did that one. What flower is your favorite? How about this one? That Vincent liked to stroll through huge fields of sunflowers, looking at how beautiful they were. Walking, stroll. There's a word we don't use much. I'm strolling through the flowers, walking slowly. That he made seven sunflower paintings. And that, how many flowers are in his paintings? Mm, I wonder if we could count. Do you think you could count how many flowers are here? Mm -mm. Can you count those up? You count. I'm not gonna help you. Awesome. <laughs> What number did you get? All right, let's see what else we have. So, oh, I like this one with the boats. That's pretty cool. It is amazing that he could paint so well, right? I have this giant one for you at the end here that I saw. I liked it so much when I saw it at the museum. I decided to buy a giant print and hang it up at my house. I also have a big print of that starry night one that's so famous. So, you could paint sunflowers and on another video on youtube there are two art teachers that teach you how to draw the vase and draw the stems with a pen or a pencil and then draw the outline and then you can start after you draw you could start painting you can use watercolors or markers or crayons or whatever you want to use 
to paint your sunflowers? And what if you don't like the way they came out the first time? How many times do you think he tried to paint? So many, oh my gosh. I bet he did it over and over until he got it right. So, Vincent, how do you like my painting shirt? It's all, and if you wear it backwards, instead of letting this be open, it'll cover everything so you won't get your shirt dirty with paint or whatever you're coloring with. So, I hope your sunflowers come out great and you had fun learning about Vincent Van Ha. If you got anything else, you learned to pronounce his name right. Have fun. See you next time. Bye.